Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is bang that like button like it's Sydney Sweeney in a sundress, so it reaches a wider audience. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, the Red Pill Ring. The Freemasons have their own rings, and now so do we. When another MGTOW sees your gold, silver, or bronze ring, he's going to know exactly what it means, and that both of you have the same value system. Now all we have to do is make a secret handshake. Please visit redpillring.com today to get your precious, precious ring. Do it fast before Gollum with boobs stops you. Now on with the memes. Number one, do you guys agree that if a man touches any of these, the baby, the dishes, cooking, and the washing machine, that women have failed as a wife? Unless he's a simp, he should steer clear of these things. If a man is the only one touching these things, then yes, the woman has failed. But usually it's a team effort. But women will never take the blame for their failures. They'll just claim that you failed if you don't do any of these things on your own. Up next, a feminist teaches her husband about consent, and now she has to beg him for sex. He won't do it with her unless she gets explicit consent. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of her own actions. This man is not the hero we deserve, but he's the hero we need. But I don't think he's a hero at all for marrying a feminist in the first place. And if he really did this, then she'll probably cheat on him. Number three, one in three women now has an STD. So imagine how bad a Taylor Swift concert must be. The workers will probably need a hazmat suit to wash the stadium floor. They also probably have a booth for shots of penicillin next to the merch. Plus, remember, there are no conservatives there, so that number is probably way over two-thirds. Soon it'll be three out of three with an STD. Moving on, this guy's girlfriend told him that his shwing shwang is smaller than her ex-boyfriend's. Why would she embarrass him like that? Probably to wreck his self-esteem and she succeeded because he's now struggling. A man with any self-respect would dump her on the spot. Or what he should have really done is get back to her and tell her that her ex was a lot thinner than her. Or that his ex's cooch cavity was a lot tighter as well. Then let's see how she likes having someone else wreck her self-esteem. Number five, someone asks ladies, what's stopping you from dressing like this? One woman says the Taliban. Well, she does have a point there. But for most women, the answer is losing the necessary weight required to fit into clothes like those. Either that or they're poor and they can't find those at Walmart. For other women still, ethics and morality keep them from putting on a look like this. Up next, Academic says that women should be allowed to spray raid on a man if he's under 5'9". Caitlin then asks back, does that mean we can use elephant boomsticks on girls that weigh more than 200 pounds? I think that number is closer to 160. But I imagine there are plenty of simps out there that would gladly say hi to a woman and get sprayed. But if she is fat, does that mean we could also feed her to the bears? Number seven, groups of Indian men have ruined Canada's clothing optional beaches. This guy would go to one either Hanlon's Point in Toronto or Wreck Beach in Vancouver, only to see scores of Indian men fully dressed, filming women and hitting on them. Looks like the Pajits are horny and can't control themselves no more. The solution is simple. Make nudity mandatory at those beaches and find them if they try and pitch a tent, if you know what I mean. Then they'll be gone because most have zero self-control. It's not their fault that they like bobs. Moving on after women said that they would rather run into a bear than a man in the woods, women always the copycat chameleons are now asking men, would we rather share our feelings with a tree or a woman? When you share your feelings with a woman, she will use them against you in an argument. But a tree won't shame you, blame you, demand things from you, and offers a man peace and shade. Definitely a tree. Number nine, remember guys, this is a man's world. We make up the majority of homeless people, workplace, and war fatalities. Yet we only get custody of our children 14% of the time. Yet women are always the ones claiming that they're the victims. One feminist simp even said that women make up 100% of the fatalities during childbirth. Up next, bad babby says that people who joined her Lonely Fools page right after she turned 18 should be put in jail. She looks like a three at best, and I think it's only fair that if they go to jail, she give away all that money they gave her. She made a million dollars in the first six hours on the platform. If she feels exploited, she should give up the cash. Plus, how would she make any money if all her simps were locked up? Number 11, a man did a paternity test behind his wife's back, and found out that the kid isn't his, and she thinks her life is now ruined. But what about his life? Now he wants the other kids he supposedly had with her tested too. She's also worried that he'll team up with the actual father to take her kid away from her too. She's trying to minimize the chances of divorce. She makes it sound like she's the victim in all of this. 
A DNA test should be mandatory, but if they were, it would be a total disaster. Because 10 to 20% of kids in our Western society were conceived through cuckoldry. Moving on, forget about fat acceptance culture. Fat women wish they had skinny bodies. The skinny women think that fat women are pigs, oink oink. The only thing that's missing from this is the skinny woman telling the fat one that she's sexy at any size, and that she looks as great as Lizzo does. She doesn't want her to lose weight because if she does, she'll be better looking and could snatch up the chad that she wants. Let's see what happens with Ozempic. Number 13, maybe women have such a hard time deciding what to eat at a restaurant because the last time women decided, they doomed all of humanity. Now it all finally makes some sense. Looks like ancestral memory is more deeply rooted than we realize. God gave Eve only one rule. Don't eat from the tree. And she couldn't help herself but stuff her face. Oink oink. More likely, women don't want to choose what to eat because if they do and it tastes awful, they'll be blamed for the decision. Up next in Canada, we put a black woman on our money. And now America should do the same with George Floyd. And you just know that 20 bucks can buy a lot of fentanyl. I'm sure America can do better than putting a thief, a drug addict, and a criminal on their cash. Now we really know what the new Romeo and Juliet remake is really going to be about. Number 15, we have another woman dating while pregnant. She doesn't want a baby daddy, but a man willing to treat her and the baby the way they deserve to be. Are all the cuck simps up for it out there? Unfortunately, one of them will wife her up thinking that they can fix her. I wonder how dark the baby will be coming out of that oven. Remember, it's easier for them to fall in love until the kid comes out and they see exactly what they look like. That's why she's probably dating while pregnant. Moving on, activist journalists said that the Mad Max movies don't need Mad Max no more. Well, it turns out that they actually do. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Bring Mel Gibson back and it would make serious bank at the box office. But you can't because he's an anti-peptite. But don't feel bad about this. In five years, we will be Hollywood making AI-featured films that are ten times better than Hollyweird. And all the woke screenwriters will be unemployed eating out of dumpsters. Number 17, this woman is shaming her husband for taking Friday off work so he can play a new video game for 24 hours straight. So what? Women take spa days off for work all the time. Or they go clubbing with their friends while the men stay home with the children. I wouldn't be surprised if this woman didn't even have a job to take the day off from. Calm down, Karen. It's just a video game. Up next, people say that Canada is gay and it looks like this image proves it. Once you see this, you can't unsee it. Looks like America is bottoming when it used to be on top. Also look at Florida down there flopping in the hurricane winds like the pink sock of America. But isn't it only gay if you receive? Looks like even Hudson's Bay is gay too. So Canada is giving and taking. America looks like it's taking in the Great Lakes, and now you know why Detroit looks the way that it does. And why the Cleveland football team is called the Browns. Number 19, a Swiss writer who called a journalist a fat lesbian was sentenced to 60 days in prison. But he wasn't lying, she was a fat lesbian. The joke's on her, though. 60 days is nothing compared to an eternity of hell. It's like that German woman that was fined for citing the facts that immigrants are more violent than native Germans. Speaking the truth is now a crime if it's an inconvenient truth. This is not even libel. Free speech is dead. Moving on, the typical woman these days says that if he's not six foot three, she doesn't want him. Looks like a bear ate half of her, so now she's going back to dating men. To no longer be an insult these days, you have to be well over six feet tall. And I picture her wanting someone like Shaq. But it could be a lot worse. She could be fat and 45, demanding you be six foot tall. Make six figures and have an eight inch swing swing like Broomhilda here. Number 21, who would you prefer? The supermodel or the random small town girl. Poor Zendaya can't seem to get a break. She's a supermodel that looks like a dude and appears to have been written out of Dune. Unfortunately, if you pick the random small town girl, statistically in America, this is more likely what you'd be running into. But remember guys, don't hate on Tammy here. Up next, if Americans like Tammy are eating less sugar, then why are over 42% of U.S. adults obese now? Because carbohydrates turn to sugar when you eat them. Plus, people are increasingly sedentary. If you want to lose weight, replace sugar with healthy fats like olive oil. I also wonder if they include corn syrup in the statistics with this. Probably not. This guy says obesity ran in his family. The doctor says that no one <laughs> runs in his family. <laughs> Number 23, a new study says the lottery winners 
if their male used their new resources to build families, while women used the resources to exit their families. Maybe instead of giving more money to women for having children, we need to give more money to men if we want to boost the fertility rates. When women don't have jobs and resources, families tend to be more intact. A man will sacrifice his happiness for his family, while a woman will sacrifice her family for her own happiness. Moving on, would you get together with goth AOC here? Yes, I would run away from her because it looks like she's wearing white face. Most guys really would though, so long as they don't see those piranha horse teeth. You know, this image in my comments are just going to piss her off. In the multiverse, she also exists as a Scandinavian out there somewhere. I see that they also narrowed her nose for this. Number 25 and the last one, this is probably what the Star Wars reboot is going to look like one day. Femboy Lucille Skywalker starring Anya Tyler-Joy is going to be lit. If you end up watching it, I hope you bring your Stormtrooper helmet to hide your shame. This will also add new meaning to the old It's a Trap meme. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Please give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm and so new viewers can find it. If you enjoy this series and want me to keep making more, then donate at the PayPal and subscribe star links below. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.